and welcome back to the Camp Lemieux 2020 Virtual Challenges. Can I just say your submissions last week were amazing? I'm glad you guys had so much fun. Last week we talked all about Jesus. We talked about how he came to earth as a little baby born of Mary, how he grew up just like any other kid, how he performed many miracles and taught us how to live and how to love God. But Jesus didn't just come to earth to perform miracles and teach us how to be good people. He came to earth to restore our relationship with God. When we separated ourselves from God by sinning, Jesus came down from heaven so we wouldn't be separated from God anymore. Remember how I said the price of sin is death? Well, Jesus, who had never sinned, willingly accepted death by allowing himself to be crucified. The same people he helped the Father create, the same people he made to love, nailed him to a cross and killed him. Jesus died in our place out of love for us. But do you want to know what the best part of the story is? Three days later, early on a Sunday morning, Jesus rose again from the dead. That's right, Jesus resurrected. Why? Because God is so much more powerful than sin. Not even death could hold Jesus down. Jesus defeated sin and defeated death. Even though we still sin and we still die, death no longer means being separated from God forever. Because Jesus rose from the dead, he opened the way to heaven, to being with God, being loved by God forever in heaven. Jesus' work isn't over though. The battle is won, death is defeated. Jesus made the way to heaven, but we still need to choose to follow him. To follow Jesus means to believe in him and accepting him as our Lord and Savior. It also means to follow his commandments. The two greatest commandments Jesus taught were love the Lord your God with all your strength, all your mind, and all your heart. The second was, one, was love one another as I have loved you. Jesus loved us by giving him his life for us and he asks us to do the same for him and for others. The greatest way we can love God and others is through prayer. What is prayer? Put simply, prayer is a conversation with God. There are many different ways to pray, and there really isn't any wrong way to pray, as long as we are honest with God and with ourselves. Prayer comes in many different forms. There are prayers of petition, where we ask God for something we need, there are prayers of thanksgiving, where we thank him for the gifts and blessings he's given us. There are prayers of contrition or repentance, where we say sorry for our sins. And there are prayers of praise, where we simply love God and praise him for who he is. As you can imagine, there are many ways to pray too. Maybe you've heard of the rosary. This is a special prayer where we ask Jesus' mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, to pray for us. Sometimes prayer looks like just talking to God in our hearts, and sometimes we can pray by reading God's word in the Bible. Prayer is a conversation with God, and the Bible is one of the main ways God speaks to us when we pray. It's not just a book written a long time ago. God's word is alive and speaks to us here and now. All right, here's my challenge for you this week. One of my favorite ways to pray is by writing a letter to Jesus. Your challenge is to write your own letter to Jesus. This letter is only for your eyes and God's eyes, so please don't share it with anybody. You can write anything you want in this letter, remembering that God loves you just as you are and where you are. It doesn't have to be long, but it should be honest. Put the letter in an envelope, and on the front, write to Jesus and then from your name. Email us a picture of the envelope and you'll be entered in to win the draw this week. You can email us at camp.lemieux at gmail.com. Please make sure to include the full name of those entering and their addresses, and also whether or not we can share your envelope picture on social media. Have a great week of prayer, and remember, love the Lord your God. Bye!